The impact of pressure is one of the unquantifiable aspects of the thrilling Premier League title race between City and Liverpool, but it is almost certain to play some part between now and May 12. Pressure will come in varying forms over the next four months, but for now it's likely to fall on whoever plays second over a Premier League game week. Liverpool have a four-point advantage over the Blues heading into this weekend and victory for them over Crystal Palace on Saturday will extend that lead to seven once again when City kick off at Huddersfield. But Pep Guardiola's side have responded when under pressure recently. They were 10 points behind when they faced Southampton on December 30th and won, and were then seven back when they played Liverpool at the Etihad. Again victory was secured when a slip-up in either game would have been fatal, according to Guardiola. The pressure was back on Monday night. Liverpool's tense win at Brighton again increased the gap to seven points, but again City responded, beating Wolves 3-0. If they can do it on more time at the John Smith Stadium on Sunday then the advantage is firmly back with the Blues. Playing first can have a significant advantage. If City play second and begin seven points behind they know they can't really afford a mistake, they are playing under pressure. But if Guardiola's side play first and win then Liverpool will see their lead cut to a point. The pendulum of pressure switches to Anfield. That is an advantage that will fall City's way after the weekend's fixtures. In four of the next five game weeks, from the trip to Newcastle on Tuesday, January 29 to the Etihad fixture with West Ham on Tuesday, February 26, City will play at least a day before their title rivals. win those games, and it will be time to see how Jurgen Klopp side cope with pressure. Having built up such a commanding advantage over Christmas in their bid for a first league title in 29 years, those Liverpool players will surely feel a knot in their stomach if they see only a one-point lead over the next six weeks. That will be pressure. Gordon Strachan, a veteran of title races in the Scottish Premier League, believes playing first can hold an advantage. I was fortunate or unfortunate enough to be in that position with Celtic and Rangers, he said. We never played at the same time because of the TV schedule. One played earlier, one played later, one played on the Saturday, one played on the Sunday. I always preferred to be the team playing first rather than the team waiting for the result. I still prefer to be the team to play first and put the pressure on. It was a subject touched upon by Gary Cahill when Chelsea pulled seven points clear of Tottenham in April 2017. It's the first time for a long time we've played first before Tottenham in the league, and this result leaves us in a good position, he said at that point. Chelsea boss Maurizio Sarri also raised the issue when his Napoli side were trying to dethrone Juventus in Serie A last season.
Juke played first on nine successive occasions towards the end of the campaign. This doesn't make any sense, and it's a huge mistake, Seri said at the time. If the Premier League title race remains as close and as tense as it currently is then the advantage of who plays first will become more of an issue as the season progressed. After this weekend it's City who can take their turn in turning up the pressure. The release of the TV fixture changes for March and April is eagerly awaited.